Hi everyone, Lee Magpie here and today we've got something Jurassic World related and this is the Jurassic World Dominion Strike and Raw Gigasaurus, a Gigantosaurus, however you want to pronounce it. Um, this looks absolutely awesome. I didn't get the Super Colossal one because, well, because it's Super Colossal, it's massive and I really didn't have the space but this is finally out for us um it was just randomly on um amazon and i got it for 35 pound but on smith's it's a little bit more money i think it's like 52 pounds so i've saved a little bit of money there and i really wanted this one more than the super colossal one and it just looks absolutely awesome. I know it's um, the way it's posed is a little bit weird. And a, a few people don't like that. Um, it kind of bothers me and it kind of doesn't. But it still looks like a beautiful figure. The box is massive. Um, they've done like this little cutout bit here where some of the box isn't there. But it looks kind of random. But it still looks absolutely amazing. The Jurassic World Dominion logo looks absolutely awesome as well. With the ember looking and it's a strike and um, raw figure. And then it just shows you some of the figure in action here. And it is a very large and in charge kind of figure. And we've also got a really cool picture of the T-Rex in the background with some dark skies and trees. Pretty much what we've seen on the um, Dominion packaging up to now but the box is just a tiny little bit different and um, with like this cut out and then on the back of the box <clears throat> we have this absolute awesome picture of the um figure in action there and with a new species of dinosaur coming out soon um on the back here that one looks really cool the picture overall looks really good Got the Jurassic World Facts app, so I always let you I always pop let you pause away and scan away. And then we have two other available figures here. I've done a review on this one. I didn't get this T-Rex because we've had millions of T-Rexes, but that one does look really, really, really cool. And the box is just ginormous. And this in has sound effects. So we'll check all that out when I get it out of the packaging. And yeah, it's just really random that it was on Amazon for um, £35. And I wasn't going to... And it's not even out in Smith's yet. So I wasn't going to wait around to get this figure. So it came really quick. It was on Prime. But without further ado, I'm going to get this awesome figure out of the packaging. So everyone, I got the Gigantosaurus out the packaging and um, it looks absolutely incredible the sculpt is absolutely amazing there's loads and loads of detail in this sculpt and the way it stands and poses is very difficult because as you can see it's got these joints here and you kind of have to put it how you want it um, to get it in the right pose so you can actually Put it in the right pose by doing that if you want the head a little bit more better. Um, but I'll show you the articulation in a sec. But I just want to show you the face sculpt up close. So here is the face sculpt up close. It looks very, very detailed. Um, the coloured scheme is absolutely amazing. There's quite a lot of um, different colours in this figure. There's some really nice um, stripes and textures. And it's got like scar markings in the face and lots of different indivits and um, textures and just some like bag um, detailing and crease detailing in the eye with some scale detailing around the head. Some nice texturing around the jaw area. The face sculpt is absolutely incredible. Um, the eye looks a little bit up, but I don't know if that's meant to be like that, but it don't bother me, but it looks really, really, really cool. Um, and then it's got some like nice indivits, some nice shading of this grey colour throughout the um, body in this like charcoal grey 
with some bits of cream and creased um, cream and like white details in the actual paint as well which i'll show you that a little bit better in some bits of the um body it's got that color on the top here and then it's got these nice little bits of details on the head there it is absolutely awesome it just it's such a large figure and it just looks beautiful i really 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 wanted this this um this one more than the colossal one and yeah i really like them details there and then this other side of the head is just pretty much the same um really nicely detailed loads of scar details um around the neck and some nice crease detailing and i absolutely love the way they sculpted the teeth because i think it's the first time they've actually done some teeth where they're a little bit more sharper the inside of the mouth is really nicely sculpted as well it's got this um light gum color and um, usually they go more pinkish but this one's more like um basically like skin color really nicely done and i love the all different varying sizes of the teeth they're all really jaggedy some have in um as like in um teeth and then teeth on the outside so that's really really cool just some little bits of added detail just really add to the figure overall i like the tech um like these like jaggedy edges around the peak of the head there and yeah it's really nicely done and then the neck area has some nice details with the this like charcoal grey going on the spikes of its head and then it scatters into like stripe colours well stripes going through the neck and a little bit of the body Um, some really nice um, like creases in the arms the claws aren't painted, which to be fair, sometimes it bothers me and sometimes it doesn't. With a massive figure like this with loads of details, it doesn't bother me. And you can actually get that done really easy. But the colours contain, if I can see, is bits of cream here. Um, some white, like a really, really light grey, greenish colour. And then charcoal um, grey and then a bit of a fady colour underneath the chin in like a grey green colour. And um, which is like here to around the jaw. And some really nice jaw detailing there. Um, and for people who are maybe a bit annoyed by the way it stands because of this bit. You can actually put it right if you put it. If you've just got to persevere to get it in the position you want. And there you go. You can actually put it straight forward so you don't have to worry about that and then the rest of the body has got some really nice details it's got some like really crocodile type of texture of skin going across here going all the way down to the tail here it's got loads of articulation and then it has some really nice ridge detailing um in these spikes well it's like a it's like span detailing there as you can see and it's just jaggedy and the varying different sizes just looks absolutely awesome there's loads i can talk about on this figure they've done such a brilliant job on it on the top of the thighs you can see it's got some really nice scar detailing here and here and a little bit at the bottom of the leg the claws are really nicely painted as well and some really nice details in the um, figure overall. They haven't done like a, that freckling effect on this figure but they've done like little creases of different cream colours. Just like little smudge marks which really add to the depth of the paint job. And yeah it just looks absolutely beautiful. I know this bit sometimes may bother people but... Hey ho, um, yeah, it just looks really, really nice. The um, scale detailing on the legs look really nicely detailed. And here as well. 
wrinkled crease detailing. The speaker underneath, I took a tag, the tag out so it can make its um, sound effects. So you can see there, but I really like this like fold detailing underneath the belly. Um, yeah, and then down to this bit of the tail, as you can see, it's got some nice little bits of, it's got paint going pretty much all the way through it, just not up the end bit. And you can see here, it's got quite a lot of articulation. And if you put this bit up here, there is a scan code. So I'm just going to turn it around so you can see the scan code there. So you can pause away and scan away. I would try and bring it in closer, but it's very difficult. This is a very large figure. But yeah, you can pause away and scan away. And it hides away quite well. You can kind of see it, but it still adds quite well. Even though this is the bit where you grip it, that still looks all right. And then we've got the button here, which has got like a rubber texture, as you can see. Um, that is what makes the mechanism move its head side to side and do the sound effects. And then I'm just going to show you the articulation on the tail side. As you can see, it's got one, two, uh, just two, uh, two points of articulation. So we've got the end of the tail, which just moves side to side like that. And then we have the middle section of the tail, which moves sad, sad like that. So you could do some really good posability and some swiping action. And I really like the details here. You can see that they've added some scar details here. So it must go into like a big battle in the new movie, which I really can't wait to see. And yeah, even all the details in the feet look really, really nicely done. Like if you look... Here, which I never really noticed that before, but all the little details in between the toes or the claws um, look really, really well done. Um, and then you've got articulation in the legs, so you can move the leg that far back, that far forward. Um, I don't think you can move the thighs in and out. Maybe you could, but I don't want to do that and break it. And then obviously we have movement in this bit of the body which is done with the action feature which I'll show you in a sec but you can move the arms up and down. You can't move the arms in and out but I don't think that really matters. Um, but yeah, really really detailed. You could, put, you could probably pose it loads of different ways if you wanted to wedge this little bit. So put something in there and make it pose up and down like that um, and you can move it however you want to move it without the action feature um, so if you wanted it leaning that way you could if you wanted it up like that you could um, it might not stay like that but it would for a, a tiny bit um, if you don't move it around a lot and then you can obviously move it that way but this is how you do the action feature so you basically press this button here and it does like a strikey kind of movement and that sounds absolutely awesome That sounds so loud and clear. Um, and there is the button underneath. I forgot there was the button underneath. So if you do this, it'll do a chomping. Wow, that sounds so cool. It does like a chomping, roaring action. And it crushes its body. It's like that what that this action this with this button makes it sound like it's smashing through trees and growling and then this one just goes That is so loud That 
that is incredible i think it looks absolutely awesome and then at the bottom you can pose the feet by swiveling the ankle all the way around so that's good and it, it stands absolutely so steady there's no dipping down it is one of my most favorite figures i've bought which is i can't um big carnivore so other than the t-rex and the spinosaurus i have actually got the spinosaurus to do a comparison with as well because i know a few people may be curious about the size comparison but yeah that stands absolutely amazing and just looks incredible so worth adding to your Jurassic World collection and definitely um, try and get it off Amazon. Um, hopefully it might be out in other retail shops. Um, but it's gone up in price on Amazon to £46. But I got mine a bit... I just saw the, I just saw it randomly there and I was like, oh my God, I'm getting it. It's 35 I saw it on Smith's and I was like... This is just such a good opportunity to get it for this price instead of fifty odd pound. But this is um, a size comparison with the Spinosaurus. So to be fair, I feel like the Spinosaurus is just a bit smaller, but it could be just like how it's posed because its head's not all the way up. But it obviously this one stands just a little bit taller. Um. Depending on how you want to pose its head, it might be, it could be a, a little bit on par. Um, body wise, the Spinosaurus, I'll put it this way. If you put it this way, the Spinosaurus looks like it's bigger. Yeah, I think the Spinosaurus is just that little bit bigger. Um, depending on how you pose it. And lengthwise, they are pretty much the same size other than like maybe two or three inches. Um, so these will look absolutely incredible in photography, play purposes, all purposes. Just will look absolutely amazing. So if you want to follow me on my Instagram, that is Liam underscore Magpie. And follow me on there because... I'm going to do some really cool, awesome figures with with these two. Um, awesome photos with these two. And they just look absolutely awesome. I'm just going to try and lift it, its head and balance it. So if you put its head up, they're pretty much on the same height. The Spinosaurus may be a bit smaller. I don't know, it's a bit off. I think they're both pretty much the same height. But depending on how you pose them... One could be bigger than the other, other than the Spinosaurus is bigger with the body in its um, sail on its back. So, yeah, I hope that makes sense. I really confuse myself then, but, yeah. I absolutely love both these figures. And my overall thoughts on this amazing figure is... If I was to give it a scale to 1 to 10, I'd give it all a scale to 1 to 10. I think it's cool that you can move the body as well, however you want by the action feature or by your hand. It's got absolutely amazing sounds. It makes sounds through this action feature and this one. They go on a little bit longer as well, the sounds. And they're a bit more loud and clearer. So that's really amazing. And yeah. Such a cool figure. I can't, I can't stop saying cool. And I can't stop saying amazing. Um, and yeah. I'm done with this review. So please like and subscribe to my channel. For more toy related stuff. And more toy episodes. I have actually got a few more Jurassic World stuff coming up soon. Um, I'm sorry it's been a little while. So yeah. Like and subscribe. I'll may or may not link this in the description box down below. But I'm sure you'll find it on Amazon. And hopefully it'll be out in other retail places soon. And for 50 if if you was to get it from Smith's and it was £50, it's definitely worth paying the £50. Um, with all the details. So, yeah, I will see you all on the next one. Bye, guys.